So as you can see, today we are adding Fusion to our coin score sheet. We will check out their token metrics, their team, project details, partners, the progress they've gone through, the roadmap, which is basically telling what is gonna happen in the future, their hype, check out any red flags they may have, then give you a bit of details about each red flag, then complete the video with their profit potential score and their project score. Here we go. Hey there YouTube and welcome to Altcoin Picks. I'm excited to bring this coin to you. We have had so many people telling me to do a video with Wan Chain versus Fusion and this is the first step to that video. Once we get this done and show it to you, I'll be able to do that versus video and I actually have a new way that I'm going to do it. It's going to be back kind of to that PowerPoint presentation. It's going to be very beautiful, very detailed and I am just super excited. Stefanos and I have been working on this for about a week. Joshua is helping us. It's gonna be awesome. Also, we may be adding Joshua to the videos. He's still deciding, hopefully he'll do it and then we can get some positive feedback and then just have more and more content for all of you. So with that being said, don't forget to smash that like button. And of course, if you love what we're doing here, please smash that subscribe button. So what is Fusion? Fusion is a public blockchain devoting itself to creating an inclusive crypto financial platform that utilizes distributed network nodes to control various types of tokens, private keys, to make cross-chain smart contracts possible. It provides API for centralized organizations to make blockchain scalable and connects off-chain data sources to make smart contracts truly smart, introducing crypto finance for the internet of value. So the first thing we're going to go over is the token metrics. As you can see, we're looking at about 177 million market cap right now, which is significantly higher than this coin was just a few weeks ago when everybody actually when Wanchain first came out and everybody's comparing which one should I buy, Fusion or Wanchain? And SCM, which is Superman's group, there's so many people that love this project. And this is actually specifically why I'm making it for them just because they want to know more information. If you look at their token price, it's about $6 and their all-time high is only $6.11. So they're super close to hitting their all-time high. They're, they're actually only 2% from that. So the multiplier to hit their all-time high is obviously not great at all, but the potential is still really high. So their volume right now is 7.2 million. That is actually a very big number for a coin that's only on buy box, as you can see right here. That's crazy. It's not on Binance, it's not on Bitrix, and it still has that much volume. That goes to show you how under the radar Buybox really is. People think KuCoin is this huge exchange, but Buybox is actually destroying it in terms of volume per day. Now, their circulating supply, we have 29.6 million, which is 52% of the 57.3 million total supply. So this is completely my own opinion, but I like to see coins with a circling supply about 100 million minimum and a total supply about 200 million. This one is fairly low, kind of similar to Neblio. Doesn't cut from its potential at all. It's just something I like to see because I know very new players that come into this space love that small coin price. And with such a tiny circling supply to get into that 1 billion range plus, you're looking at a pretty high coin price. So again, this is just my opinion completely relevant <laughs> anyways let's go to the team score so now for their team they actually receive a let's see i believe it's an a yes an a and for this let's go actually to their website so i can pick the five best people that we feel were worth grading so as i said what we do here is we pick their five best slash most important people on their team and try to rate them from their past experience and decide how good the team is and then grade them through an a through f system and of course as i told you these people or this team received an a and our first person dijun quinn he is the ceo of fusion and now his description says he's the CEO and founder of Bitsy, creator of Quantum and VeChain. So there was a huge ordeal going on here where this was basically what he claimed. So I went in, talked to VeChain and talked to Quantum and they basically said it's false. But then there's a huge amount of research on there. Go on Medium, there's information kind of supporting that he did do something and then you got the te the telegram and the, the team there saying no he absolutely didn't on a side note his linkedin does not show quantum or vchain at all so that's kind of a big red flag in my opinion 
and we'll talk about that later in the, the video. So his significant experience also includes chief unit executive for IBM. So it's definitely one of the biggest superstars on the team, if not the biggest. So after that, we have Dr. Jingang Wu. I think that's how you say his name. So he was the VP of Bitsy. And before... But before that, he didn't have anything super special. He does have a PhD in financial engineering. So he's probably one of the lower people out of the top five. Still, some pretty good experience. After that, we look at Rossi, which is this guy. Rossi Lowe. He worked at IBM and at Dell, where he was the account executive and also was the VP of business development at Bitsy. After that, we checked out David Perez. So David Perez was the VP and managing director at Goldman Sachs. Next, Douglas Wang. He's our final person of the five. He worked at IBM as a sales specialist at Motorola and is a sales director at HP. So again, significant experience at some big companies. Those are the five that we looked at and were the ones that gave us that A score. So after that, we check out their advisors. And again, they have top-notch advisors receiving an A- minus here. Let's go back to their team page to check out their three advisors that we decided were the best and most significant. So our first guy is Daniel Prezzo. I don't know if I said his name right. He was a chief information officer at Morgan Stanley and Infidelity Investments, along with partner and global head of investment management tech at Goldman Sachs. So some huge companies there with some significant experience, definitely a superstar. After that, we have Sean Walsh, which is right here. He was the VP at online marketing at Bank of America and director of online marketing at Sony. So again, two huge companies, superstar there. And then our final one is Michael Horsana. He was the managing director at Barclays Investment Bank, which again is huge. So with those three, they received the A minus score. Now for the project details, we're looking at their project type, which we have listed here as the crypto financial cross chain platform. Their impact, they received an A minus. If they're able to be successful with their vision, then they could really have a huge impact, not only on the crypto space, but possibly the world. So after that, they don't have a working product. So this is the first one that we have to put no product. We're gonna skip a little ahead to their competition. So for their competition, they received a a D plus. And this is because they're lacking a working product and kind of just that progress in general. With that, it's okay. They have a lot going for them still. So they're partners. So they don't really have anyone huge here. They do have buy box, but that is just an exchange. So I'm not really sold on that being a big partner. And that's why they get a, I believe a D. Yeah. A D here. So this could easily change. When this changes, competition will probably change and their score will just go up. After that, let's check out their progress. So progress, they received a C minus here. And this kind of goes with competition I was just talking about. They're on buy box, which is good. It's a decent exchange. It's not anything big like Binance or Bitrix. And they're actually working on their main net and their test net. So their progress is at a C minus. They haven't released them. So We'll see what that kind of does for the roadmap, <laughs> which let's move on to there now. So their roadmap, they received an A plus, and it's because the test net's about to come out, I believe next month in May, and then their main net is supposed to be releasing Q2 of 2018, which is this year, meaning they have a lot of huge things happening very, very soon, and that's why they get the A plus there. So as you can see here, they're kind of lacking on the progress that they've already done, but the future has some big things happening. So we'll see what happens there. Next, let's move on to website hype. And I actually wanna to go to the website that I use to give you all this information of 1,850 daily visitors, which is right here. Showing their unique visitors, 3,145 page views per day. This gives a lot of great information, actually. If you wanna come here to this website, hypestat.com, you can check out any website. It's pretty cool. This is how I have them all listed, as you can see what is popular, what is trending. After that, they're token holders. So right now they have 12518, so 12,518 token holders. Shows right here, perfect. It updates in real time, I love that. So their hype, it's not bad. The token holders are kind of low. So I'd like that to increase. Also, side note, some have NA, it's because they have their own main net or whatnot, like one chain and whatnot. They're not on ERC20, so I can't really track them that way. Now let's move on to the red flags. And some of you can comment here. Let me know if these have been solved. I tried to talk to Dijun 
with the CEO about this. He read my messages in Discord, or sorry, Telegram, but he didn't respond. So the biggest one is the CEO discrepancies that I talked about with the WAN chain, sorry, with the V chain and Quantum. And there still seems to be a bit of confusion. Dijon has Quantum and VeChain on his profile on the website, which we saw earlier, but he doesn't have them on their LinkedIn. That's kind of a red flag to me. Why don't you have them on your LinkedIn? Did you work with him or not? <laughs> also, I went into VeChain's Telegram to ask what kind of affiliation does Dijon have? And they basically said he has nothing to do with VeChain. Then I went into Quantum's Telegram and said, what does Dijun have with you guys? And he said, there are three founders of Quantum and he is not one of them. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Would love some clarification from the CEO Dijon, but he hasn't responded. Hopefully he does. If so, I'll post in the comments or let you guys know in my Discord what he says. The next issue we have isn't as big and it's already over was with their ICO. They had some KYC issues during ICO and they didn't disclose pre-sale investor holdings. That's what I've been told from people in my Discord. Again, that's already over, so it's not a big deal to me. The biggest one right now is the CEO thing. Even then, it's kind of been dealt with, but it doesn't seem like it was a, a consensus that everybody came to. So with that being said, you can see their profit potential is at 73%, and that's based off of a variety of factors, and again, it's always evolving. And 73 is actually not that bad. And 73 is actually not that bad. And that's already after they've had this big jump. So I can imagine two weeks ago or a month ago when it was way cheaper, they probably had like an 85 score. Now their project score, they received a 71. And I know I might get some slack from some people saying, 71, what the heck? This project's awesome, doing this, blah, blah, blah. But this, I'm taking into a lot of account, like the progress, how they're comparing to the competition right now. So yeah, the future, they may have some awesome huge score because they've done so much. But for right now, they're at a 71% and hopefully it goes up. Also, if they add some partners, that will help a lot. Anyways, let me know if you agree with these scores. 73 for profit potential, 71 for project score. I would love to get your opinion, get your feedback. Let me know what you think I should do. Again, WAN Chain versus Fusion will be coming up. I'm super excited to bring that to you. Don't forget to smash that like button. And of course, please smash that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.